Hey, right, this is uh, the second week of the summer intensive training. Pardon the glare there, we got some windows behind me, <laughs> that's better. I'm uh, looking for, uh, we're looking for six weeks of working out uh, intensively, try to get as in the best shape possible for when I uh, have another surgery on my leg. I want to go to the hospital ready to go and making sure that I can recover as quickly as possible. I'm uh, just kicking it and uh, I've, I've already made some gains. Uh, I've been working out since January, but uh, with the, the finish of college uh, a couple weeks ago, we're just looking to pick things up a bit and really, really get intense and uh, gain some strength. And that's what this is about. Today is chest day and I'm looking at uh, uh, increasing my chest. There's some reasons for that. It's not just about uh, pride or strength or anything like that. It's uh, some practical stuff that we all need to do. Um, for myself, I'm uh, looking at uh, preventing sarcopenia, which is uh, what they call uh, age-related weight uh, muscle mass loss. Anyway, so here we go. Here's my, uh, my uh, uh, chest press on one of my favorite machines, the Hammer Strength. Right, so I just did uh, 160 pounds, 160 pounds on this hammer strength machine. That's one side. That's the most weight I've lifted uh, since before the accident. And so uh, things are looking pretty good. I did eight reps of that 160 pounds. It was a struggle, but we did it. So we know that we're making progress. My chest was worked more than anything else uh, during this rehabilitation time. Two years in a wheelchair on crutches, you're always using your chest and your shoulders, triceps to propel yourself. They're, they're picking up the slack for your legs. Uh, that's why I got to keep these going. Uh, but at the same time, uh, they got neglected in other kinds of pushes. We want to go some forward pushes, some upward pushes, and everything else. Not just the downward pushes that you get with a wheelchair and uh, walking on crutches. Stick with me. Let's see what happens. That's the hammer strength machine, the same machine uh, back in April. Uh, and I had done 20 pounds less for the same reps. And what you see there is a picture of the uh, decline. That's the uh, decline machine. It's not free weights, of course. It's harder for me to use free weights without my legs working right. Uh, I got 100 and, uh, 110 pounds out of that one. No, excuse me, 120 pounds. Uh, so we'll see how that goes next time. I have to be careful. My shoulder's not very happy, so I have to kind of baby that for few days at least uh, maybe a week or two so we'll see how that goes now, now what you see there is the uh, the old flat bench dumbbell chest press I can't really do that right now uh, well I can but uh, to put the weight on there I would need I would have to somehow get the weights over there to the bench without my legs working right I'd have to roll them around and then uh, kicking them up to where they need to be is really hard to do so I think I'm gonna wait uh, until my legs are a bit more mobile hopefully before I start doing this this is really my favorite chest exercise but unfortunately I can't do it so uh, well we see what happens in the future what you're looking at there is the pec deck I did that last year sometime when I had my frame still on my leg I had to crawl from the wheelchair and onto the seat. That was quite a challenge, but it was a, uh, it sure felt good. So that's it, that's for today. Remember, it's not just about the physical. The real battle happens here. See you later, man.